past and present come together as act two of Death of a Salesman continues, and a young Bernard knocks on the door of the Lohman's house to tell Mrs. Lohman that Biff has failed math and he won't be graduating from high school. We shift quickly back in the present at the restaurant, where Willie blames Biff for that past failure, even as Biff tries to confess his present theft of the fountain pen. Willie's frustration boils over and he tells Biff, you're no good, you're no good for anything. Willie's confusion and his aggression increase. To calm him, Biff holds his father down and tells him that Bill Oliver is having lunch with them the next day. On the fly, Willie concocts a tale that Biff can tell to explain the theft of the fountain pen. The two prostitutes, as well as the woman with whom Willie had an affair, appear amid the growing chaos. The action shifts again to the past, with Willie and the woman in a hotel room in Boston. Biff shows up unexpectedly to confess that he flunked math, and he discovers Willie's affair. He starts to cry, calls his dad a liar, and he leaves shouting, you fake, you phony little fake. Back in the present at the restaurant, Willie is shouting at the waiter, and his sons have already left the restaurant without him. Time and memory play tricks in this section, overlapping and adding to the portrait of Willie's self-deception by zooming in on his relationship with Biff. Willie has long blamed Biff for failing math, when the real failure is Willie's infidelity and its effect on his son. The turning point in Biff's life was that loss of admiration for his father, his discovery of Willie's lies and phoniness. This is the moment the older Bernard refers to when he says that something changed Biff during his trip that summer. Although Biff discovers his father's lies, he still loves his father, defending him to happy. And it's Biff who takes the rubber hose out of the basement to protect his father. Biff who tells the women that Willie is a fine, troubled prince. Willie's compulsion to deny his guilt and shame muddies his memory and his ability to stay focused on the present. Unlike Biff who wants to come clean, Willie won't face his lies. The stockings here take on their full meaning as a symbol of this tension between father and son. Yes, they're emblematic of Willie's infidelity generally, but now they also represent the tension between Biff's pull toward the truth and Willie's rejection of it.